came tumbling after, and there was Humpty Dumpty. He sat on a wall, and as you know, poor Humpty Dumpty had an awful fall. Rock-a-bye, baby, up in a treetop. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. But mommy and daddy somehow didn't know how hard the wind was going to blow. Well, Jack and Jill and all their contemporaries had a rather bad time, but didn't they? Nursery rhymes and fairy tales are like that. Many of them end in tragedy of some sort. I wonder why they were written that way. Could it be possible that they had their beginning as object lessons? Warning children not to go into the woods without their parents. Warning parents to be careful where they hung the baby's cradle. Warning children to stay off the wall, or they might have a bad fall. And always to be careful going down the hill, or they might wind up like Jack and Jill. But what does all this have to do with us at the telephone company? You'll see. Here's Jack. He's sort of a careful, serious-minded chap. He always plays it safe. He made up his mind that he's going places. We're quite certain that he will. Right now, he's going to work at the telephone company. What careless person could have left this garden rake here with the prong sticking up for someone to step on? I guess some people just don't think. Just a few doors down the street is where Jill lives. Recently, Jill set her alarm clock to ring a half hour earlier to avoid all the last minute rush. But isn't it wonderful to hear the alarm to know that you can spend another half hour in your nice, warm bed before you really have to get out? Jill thinks so, and she does. Jill is like so many of us. She likes to talk. Boy, that was close. There's the bus. too hard on her, Jack. Thousands of people do that every day. The lucky ones are still with us. Well, as it always does, another bus came along. It was crowded and Jack and Jill had to stand. But they were careful to keep hold of the safety bar above in case of sudden stops. They stood well behind the driver, obeyed the safety rules of the transportation company, and were considerate of other passengers. nice to meet an old friend, Jill, but that's not the place to hold a conversation. somewhere. How fortunate for Jack and Jill that they work in the telephone office in safety. Be 
careful, Jill. That's a good way to break your arm. Wait till it slows down. That's a girl. You're learning. Well, they made it. Yes, Jack and Jill have finally arrived, safe and on time. No cars to dodge, no stop signs to watch, no buses, no danger here. There's nothing like the hazards involved in Jill's uncle's job. He's a lineman for the telephone company, and he knows he has to be careful. His body belt, safety strap, and climbers are always in perfect order. The snaps, D-rings, and buckles are regularly inspected. He's wearing the required gloves. His tools and equipment are always in excellent condition. And his climber gaffs are always secure and sharp. But of course, there's no danger here. Or is there? Actually, more people are seriously injured and falls on stairways each year than from any other single cause in company buildings. There must be a reason. There are several. The hunt is on. But a stairway is not a good hunting ground when you're looking for that lipstick. Besides, it's probably down the bottom of her purse somewhere under the kitchen sink. Seriously, you'd be surprised at how many accidents are caused by purse hunting on stairways. Another cause for accidents is improper shoes. Beautiful, aren't they? But wear shoes like these at a party, not at the office. Sandals. Fine for going downstairs, but how about painfully stubbed toes going up? Wedgies, wonderful for lounging, but not for hiking up and down stairs. But you say, what's a girl going to do? Dress like a Gibson girl in order to be safe at her job? No, not that, but there is a compromise. Let's just call it being sensible. Now, you wouldn't say these were unattractive shoes, would you? Enclosed heel and toe, moderate, comfortable, and safe. There are places where our company can and does make it almost impossible to have an accident. Even if you were careless, you couldn't accidentally walk into trouble here. And this would make it absolutely impossible to have an accident on stairways. But it's obvious that a fence is not the answer. Uh-oh, there goes Jill again, in a hurry as usual. company just can't provide escorts for everyone. Here's a typical cafeteria in a typical telephone company office building. Typical people. And we note some of them being typically careless. Stacking three cups is going a little too far. There are trays for this purpose. Jack and Jill are having lunch too. But Jill wouldn't do that at home, would she?
It might take a few seconds to put an empty tray in the proper place instead of on the floor, but it's so much safer not to mention neatness and consideration of others. Here's an activity that might resemble your home or mine. Sometimes we get tired of things in the same old place and decide to rearrange the furniture. But there's no need to take chances by moving heavy office furniture or file cabinets. Or climbing on chairs and desks to hang pictures or calendars. Our company provides experienced personnel to do this type of work when it's moving time. If there's no accident here, these people are just plain lucky. Our records include many cases where people weren't so lucky. Well, I'd say that might be an improvement, wouldn't you? Everything very functional and quite attractive and apparently safe, except for one thing. Do you see it? An exposed telephone cord. An innocent looking little thing, isn't it? But you'd be surprised at how many phones it's broken. Our company provides trained personnel to make proper telephone and electrical installations. Call them before you move. Sometimes we get so used to doing routine things that it's hard to believe that there's any danger connected with them. Close the lower file first, then pull out the top one. And then there are times when we just don't think. Well, the irresistible force and the immovable object didn't meet this time. But such a meeting has caused hundreds of painful and sometimes serious injuries. Desks, filing cabinets and drawers can and do hurt people. Did you ever pinch your finger in a drawer? Walk into an open locker door? Or pull a file cabinet over on you? There's no comedy in these errors. And the root of our trouble is absent-mindedness. Speaking of absent-mindedness, Jill, don't you think it's a good idea to walk forward when you're going somewhere? Jill could have landed on the floor with a possible skull fracture or a broken arm. And if you must slide your chair back to get into your desk drawer, look before you slide. Well, here's Jack the careful. Nothing could ever happen to him. Jack reads all the safety signs. He's quite unlike our absent-minded Jill. Yes, Jack is careful about the obvious things. But it's the little things, like carelessly leaving a desk drawer open, that can and do cause painful and often serious accidents. Jack's carelessness could have resulted in a fractured kneecap. Well, about now you might think that surely we have covered the hazards of office work. Actually, we could spend the next hour and not cover all types of office accidents. For instance, Pretty girl, pretty flowers, and just a little spilled water on the floor. It could be just as dangerous as a patch of ice on the sidewalk. This spot should have been guarded until it was wiped dry. Make safety your business. You won't be interfering with someone else's job by reporting a safety hazard. This is lots of fun. 
but an office building is hardly the place for such horseplay. Do you know the location of the nearest fire extinguisher? Do you know how to operate it? And we were beginning to think Jill was thoughtless. An ashtray is the only safe place for cigar and cigarette ashes. Surely no one working for the telephone company would be guilty of this most stupid trick of all. That's it. Pull out the chair and let's have a big laugh. If there's one fellow we could all do without, it's the practical joker. And there are so many more things to bear in mind, for safety's sake. Like minor cuts from knives, razor blades, scissors, or even an innocent piece of paper. A serious infection can result. Take care of them immediately. And don't forget that dizziness or weakness due to starvation diets have caused many people to fall on stairways. If you must diet, eat three well-balanced meals a day. You'll keep your balance better. And the use of elevators requires the most supreme concentration of all. Never run to catch one. The result might be a slip, a fall, a sprained ankle, or something more serious. See what I mean? It almost happened. You've had a busy day, Jill, and you're eager to get home. But remember, elevators are like buses. Another one will come along. And incidentally, when it does, be sure it's level with the floor and a stop before you enter. attempted to have a little fun with the most serious subject. Because Jill got into all this trouble, please don't think we're pointing the finger only at the women in our business. Someone had to play the part, and in this case, Jill was selected. We've tried, and we hope we have impressed upon each one of you that safety is a state of mind. Think safety at all times, and you won't have accidents. There's also a plus value. Thinking safety goes hand in hand with courtesy and consideration of others. An office can be one of the safest places in the world, if we make it so. Make safety your business. So Jack won't fall down and break his crown, nor Jill come tumbling after. <laughs>